What up, you weirdos? Dave here, and I like knives. Here to talk to you today <clears throat> about the Sog Instinct Mini G10 model. This has a blade of two inches, the difference between the Sog Instinct and the Instinct Mini. The Instinct proper has uh, online at list a 2.3 inch blade. Uh, this Instinct Mini is listed as a 1.9 inch blade. So that's like $10, $20 for less than half an inch difference. So, you know. I measured this at two inches um, with a four and three quarter inch overall, one inch in depth, less than a quarter inch in depth, uh, five and a quarter inches in the sheath, five and a quarter long, two inches wide, and two ounces. Now this, I believe, has the honor of being the very first fixed blade I have done on this channel. And that is something that I am looking forward to about my new book, uh, is doing, doing some more fixed blade EDC. Uh, that's something that I'm trying to get a little bit more into, so. Thank you for joining me on that journey, I suppose. Now let's start out with what is great about this itty-bitty knife. Its size, it is very much itty-bitty. I prefer having a large folder in my pocket, uh, but there's some things that a fixed blade is just better for. Um, because it doesn't have to worry about pivots or whatever, this isn't going to this isn't going to fail on you. It isn't going to break or whatever. Um, it's safer. Putting putting this in a sheath is much safer uh, than folding a knife, as my fingers could tell you stories on stories. Um, so this size, perfect. I don't like that it's a three inch. It's a three finger handle. I would prefer to have something to do with my pinky down here. But what else? Great handle, even though it is only three fingers. Those are some deep grooves. Let you get good traction on there. You hook in, very nice. Because these are so significant, uh, it is possible that if you have larger hands, because I have, I have little squarely hands. So if you have larger hands, uh, would be very uncomfortable. So know that. Great jimping. I would prefer that the jimping go all the way to the break up here. Um, but as it is, that's good traction. Eh Ow. That's good traction for your thumb. So good that if you push your thumb deep into it, trying to prove a point, you might tear something. Uh, good sheath. This sheath is a bit of a mixed bag for me. I like it. It's good plastic. It, I don't think it's Kydex, but honestly, I don't know the difference. So this is half decent plastic. And this clip is rotatable. Also, our everyday game of Count the Sog logos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Classic. Um... This sheath is rotatable. You just have a single screw in there that you take out and you can put it on either side. These dots up in here uh, count to two little bumps inside the clip. Uh, basically, you can rotate it any direction and then uh, screw it to tighten it down and it will stay there. Um, so you can have this at any angle that you want uh, and clip it to your backpack, your belt, your pocket, whatever. The way that I prefer to carry it is just to have it like that and slip it into my pocket. Um, so essentially carrying this is no different from carrying a regular uh, folding knife, not the way that I use it. Excuse me. Um, but this is completely modulable. Mod, mod, modulable, modable. This is completely modable uh, in that regard. Something that deeply frustrated me is that this hole is 
just slightly too... That's nasty. I took the tape off. This hole is just slightly too small. So uh, I could get my precision bits in there. And it's a hexagon. It's not a Torx. Um, so I could get my hex bit in there. But it would get stuck because it's just deep enough. That's... If you have tried to unscrew that, you'll understand what I mean. If you haven't, you don't. So just know that. Uh, but that's fine, I suppose. So I'm complaining about nothing. My only problem with this, uh, with this clip, with this sheath in general, I suppose, is that. This clip comes off the sheath. Uh, so this clip is resting on the blade. You can see a little bit of wear in there from the handle as I've pushed it in. So this is sitting on the knife itself. That makes hooking it into stuff and taking it out again very difficult because to get this into my pocket, I have to actually pick up the clip, slip it in, and then drop it again. Whereas if this was positioned half an inch higher on the, on the sheath, if the screw hole was right here, that'd be perfect. This bump would be right about here, and that would be perfect. But instead... The screw is so low that, that the bump hangs off, that the retention hangs off of the sheath. And that's bad. Um, it's not a deal breaker, but it is a deep frustration that I have noticed um, in my carrying this and in my using it. Because I know that, it's, that I have to be intentional about putting this back in my pocket... Uh, there's some times where I just, I won't use it, that I'll use my hands for whatever I'm doing, uh, just because I don't feel like being intentional about putting this back in. The point of a clip is so that you can mindlessly slip it in and out of your pocket, but it will still retain, uh, whatever the clip is attached to. This retains very well, um, but because it is hanging off of the sheath, you can't, you have to be intentional about it. Um, so it can be a bit of a frustration, a bit of a struggle, uh, but overall, not a deal breaker. I hate it. I hate this one aspect. But oh, the overall package that it is attached to, not bad at all. This is a blade of 5 CR15 MOV steel, which makes it pretty crap, but... It is so small and blah, blah, blah. I'm fine with it. I don't, a blade this small, I don't actually care all that much about what steel it is. SOG lists this online for $40 uh, for the size of it and for my issue. Um, that feels high. Amazon for $24, Walmart for $22. I see these there all the time. I got this from Academy for $30. If you can find this for 25 to 20 dollars absolutely pick it up i would say um especially if your plan is just to attach it to a book bag uh and then forget about it and leave the sheath there um so that you're not taking and removing the sheath from whatever uh then this is what you're looking for this can be i suppose out of 10 stars i give this a because it is decent. Uh, it is a decent tool, decent knife. It's not great. Um, I would say south of good, probably. But definitely decent. That's what I'm giving it. If you have questions, comments, or suggestions, please list them below. Other than that, have a great day.